Fatal confrontation. New video of the tense moments when Baltimore police opened fire on a man during a standoff. The 911 calls, the threats, and the lingering questions about the response. Hello, everyone. I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Denise Koch. City police released several videos of their encounter with 57 year old Kevin Mason at his home near Pimlico early Monday morning. The commissioner says officers were responding to an assault, but the, quick, the situation quickly deteriorated. WJZ investigator Mike Halgren is live at City Police Headquarters and he spoke to several members of Mason's family. Mike? Denise and Vic, there was no gun found in the man's home, and family members say this still does not add up to them. They have questions after the release of that body camera video, and they want to see more of that video. These are the gunshots that likely killed unarmed 57 year old Kevin Mason as police fired on his back door in Northwest Baltimore early Monday morning. No one ever wants to see a life lost, but this was probably one of, if not the most dangerous situations we can find ourselves in. The NRS, come on out. Come on, we have a key. City police released a series of body camera videos of the incident. The first was 17 minutes prior. When officers initially encountered Mason at his front door, police say Mason threatened to kill anyone who came on his property. And while they believed he had a weapon, no gun was ever found on Mason. He pointed a gun at us. He came out the back door pointing at a gun at us, saying if we came in the yard, he's going to pop us. Kevin didn't seem the type that would have weapons. I mean, if he didn't want you in his house, he wouldn't let you in, and that's just like anybody else. Police also released a 911 call Mason made, warning officers to stay away. Then there were, you know, threats by Mr. Mason to the officers, and so the situation just became more volatile and uh, more intense because he retreated back into his home. Mason's friends and family have been demanding answers since the day of the shooting. They say he had a gun. Where's the gun? But they found no gun. Shoot me in my arm or my leg, but don't shoot to kill me. Every police officer is, is, is trained to respond to all types of domestic incidents, and the response to it was, in my opinion, was, was a proper protocol followed. The commissioner said domestic incidents can be particularly deadly for officers. He said he's trying to be as transparent as possible. And he did release the name of the officer who opened fire, the only officer he believes opened fire in this incident, John Johnson, a 25-year veteran of the department. Reporting live at City Police Headquarters, Mike Helgren, WJZ.